matrix that sort of works all that together. Tracy and I this morning went back through it. It was never intended to compare one restaurant with another, okay, so it's presumed that all restaurants are the same, but based on an assumption where they are not the same, in this case, where they are it's argued that they're not, we assign different percentages. Okay. Giving hurricane grilled wings the high capacity in the afternoon and evenings, Denny's in the morning's lunchtime. Slight overlap perhaps at lunch. The best we could come up with using reasonable percentages, like down as low as you know, 50 and 70 percent capacity, the total parking demand between the two ranges from 85 on up to 118 parking spaces. And 85 was the lowest number we could generate. There's only 66 proposed. So they're still short of parking. Matt, can I ask a couple questions? The parking adjacent, does, does the regulation state that the parking has to be in the adjacent property? Yes, unless the variance is granted. Um, Okay. And we've had requests for that in the past. Okay. Um, I know that you say that there's a matrix there, but we don't have the matrix in front of us. Um, and this is kind of a question for you, Matt, and, and for the developer. Um, all the discussion we've had up to this point has been a possible shared parking between the restaurants and the hotel. There is a gas station next door that has a very large parking lot behind it. Has that been considered? What was the, did, did I think of it? Absolutely yes. Did, did I pursue it? No. Okay. Is it? Is there something in the rules and regulations that that rules out the possibility of shared parking with with something like that next door? No. It Does it have to be a certain type of building? No. Or, okay. As long as it's commercial parking lot and there's space available. Um, We've done that before. The, the Google Earth, that, you the gas station is okay, no, no, I don't have anything to say. <laughs> the, the image that y'all gave us of the, of the map shows sort of that parking lot, but if you look on the more updated Google Earth, it's a little bit more updated. Yeah, but it's the area you have in your pack is 2007 in right. um, which the hotel looks a lot different now. The gas station is going to look pretty much the same. Right. And it's got a fairly large area behind it. My only, my only concern about that is it's not striped, but it is a large area. It, if I had to guess some round numbers, it might be able to yield as much as two dozen parking spaces. Right. Which would get right. you which would get you much closer to your 85 parking space, 85 to or so parking, 85 to 100 spaces needed if you considered your overlap of uses that they're not exactly at the same times. What, you see what I'm saying? Right. Well, the thing is, the gas station peak hours are going to be different, but their total numbers that they need as right. a minimum is very small. Right. So that really doesn't really matter. Well, but I'm saying it would get, if, if he could it have really a shared is. agreement for another two dozen spaces, that would get him closer to that range of what you gave us a minute ago, somewhere between 80 and 116 or so. 118. It would get us closer to that number, and the the, the the difference in I think what's what's a little bit of a concern to everybody is the large number of seats and the, such a short number of spaces. Yes. I think if we could get closer to that, it would be easier to handle than than such a large variance that it is now. Okay. Well, I mean, I agree with what you're saying, but but. But seat-wise, you've got the same number of seats or two less, and you exist and you've got, you know... As you counted out, it's like 85 or 88 spaces that's in the existing Denny's that's there now. Oh, okay. So so 75. Okay, well... Yeah. So, I mean, if you just took just the seating, and, and you said they don't have a... Currently, they don't have a problem, and you took just the same number of seats, I mean, it's almost a block. Okay, with well, with the way this discussion is going and all of the options that are starting to pop up, do we need to consider postponing for 30 days, give you a chance to work for a little bit, and it is possible that it might be 60 days because right now we may not have cases for a January meeting. And it's the holidays coming up. And holidays and all that. So, is that going to be a economic hardship on y'all that we? We need to hear opposition first, though. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to get a little bit of feel for this. I'm not going to ignore opposition. <laughs> I, I think I already said that you know I, it, okay. it may take longer. So. Right. Mr. Williams, would you like to present anything, or are you just here to, to say I'm they're already aware of our they're already I'm aware of our position? We don't have shared parking. Two shares. We don't have to share parking. Two shares. Uh, naturally, uh, Mr. Woolsey and I are good friends. We're good neighbors. Everything we we explore whatever opportunity to try to satisfy their needs. It, it's just not available. Uh, uh, another consideration, quite frankly, is the reconfiguration of the, the exit when that changes. That's going to probably take some of our parking. Okay. Well, any other discussion to your office in the day? We've had no other responses. Okay. I'll move that we put the phone list until the next regular scheduled meeting to afford the applicant an opportunity to um, research other options related to shared parking. Is that for till the January meeting? To the next regular scheduled meeting. If that's no. January. So he's he's saying he may have he can't be prepared. Well, January is the next regular scheduled okay. meeting. We don't know about other cases. There's some concern about policies I mean, being in between, and if he's got to contact another property owner, that may take some time. I'll amend the motion to that's, yeah, February that's meeting. The February meeting, if that's all right. That's all right with staff? That's fine. Um, staff would need to re advertise it, and we would need to calculate fees for that, send up a bill to the applicant. Why is that? If it's postponed, we have to re-advertise? Yes. Why? Uh, well, the ordinance says so. Mm -hmm. I didn't change that. I didn't change that right now. I have no objection to that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll try not to get in your pocket. I agree. In that way. Yeah, but if it's in, if it's in the bylaws and the regs and we don't do it, then it opens us up to a problem. Somebody on the opposition side comes in after the fact and says, hey, you didn't notify me. I would have come and I would have objected. So, okay. I have a motion on the floor from Scott to postpone until the February meeting. I'm amending your motion to February. To the February meeting to give them time to explore options and let's see if there's any other options to come forward or downside or whatever. I second the motion. I have second. Mr. Alvarado, all in favor, please raise a hand. Unanimous. We'll see you February. Thank you very much. Okay. We have no more cases. We have approval of the minutes from November meeting. Anybody see anything? Can I get a motion to accept the minutes. I have a motion, Dr. Halper, second. I have Mr. Collins. All in favor, raise a hand. Unanimous. Thank you very much. Okay, we have, it's not really election officer, it is, uh, normally we have the first, I can't think of a word I want right now, nomination, thank you very much. Normally we nominate in November, elect in December, and they take office in January. We did not nominate in November, so I need open the floor for nomination. We can nominate the right now. Well, yeah, we can. I don't think it's specifically we have to do it in two meetings. No. Floor is open for nominations for chair for the calendar year 2014. I nominate uh, Mr. Strickland for uh, chair, and uh, I guess Scott is in. That's the other. Is there only one position or two? Well, there's a chair and a vice chair. And Scott is the vice chair. I have nomination for myself to repeat as chair, Scott to repeat as vice chair. Are there any other nominations? I need a motion to close nominations. I have a motion to close nominations from Nancy. That is your slate. Are you willing to serve? Yeah. I will continue. It's not a problem. Uh, do we need now to make a motion to accept the slate or elect the slate? Um, 
Or is the nomination without opposition good? Without opposition, you can announce it's those are reelected by acclamation. So done. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. Yes. Okay. Uh, any other old business, new business for us to talk about? Holiday gathering. Possibility. We've not talked about it up until now for this year. Um, in the past, we have done different things. Um, not first of all, we need to decide if we want to do a social event for this holiday season or not. And if we do, we need to pick a time and place, which is often the hard part. I should like to have a party, but I would like to have it next year. After all of the yeah, partying is done, let's have a holiday party. Let's have a Valentine's Day party or something. What? Valentine's Day party? Or We don't have, seem to have a lot of folks wanting to have a party. Why don't we want to go this year? And then, unless I see a lot of folks raising hands and saying no. If we want to have a winter festival or we, a spring. We can do something at a later, at a later Okay, any other business, new business, old business, we're good to go? Thank you very much for your service, ladies and gentlemen. Stand adjourned. See you, my friend. Yeah. Always a pleasure. Yeah. Russell, oh, he's all right. He's all right. Good. 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 Good.